Well, I think Buck's coming. Oh, he can't make it. Oh. There he goes. And welcome home, new quad track. That is right, guys. We got two case quad tracks. And Buck is going to probably curse me out real soon that he has to haul some red equipment when he sells green equipment. I'll, I'll tell you. I can, I can predict it right now. We already got one of the quad tracks delivered. We got a 580. So I bought a 580 quad track and then I bought a 620 quad track. If we need more big tractors, we will buy another big tractor. Could be any brand here. I'm, uh, I'm open. Buck, thanks for hauling her. I tell you, I'm getting too old for this crud. 80 years of farming. It, uh, it gets to you. Yeah. Well, probably why, dealing why, with 80 why, years of farmers. That would get to why, you too. Why? You always told me you'd buy from, buy from Prairie State now, hauling its sons. Why are you buying red? Why? The price made sense. The price was right. We give you like almost an employee discount. I know, I know, I know. Uh, Heck, you're grandfathered but, in to have our discounts. My, my wife works at, at, at Case H. Really? Yeah. And your brother works at Deer? Well, she... We for got, 40 we years? Go. For 40 years. And your wife working at Case gets you a better deal. Buck, I am going to get murdered in the comment section if I don't switch it up. Yeah? That hasn't stopped me from driving green. Heck, I still drive the same tractor from 1980. Where do you want this thing? Uh, just park it next to the other one. Alright. Hey, you got time today, old man? To help? Yeah, they're trying to make me do less work out there at the dealer now. Okay. They don't want me trying to bust a bone when I should have retired 20 years ago. These new tractors are something, ain't they? A lot more complex than the tractors of yesteryear. Smoother, though, that's for certain. Oh, yeah. Well, shoot, while you're at it, I guess we could have... Sorry, I don't want to make you climb in and out all the time, but we could have hooked up to the anhydrous bar, so we got to put on some smoke today. Um, let me get pickup truck off of here, and let's get the big one hooked up to the big tank, and then I'll hook the small 30-footer up to uh, up to the other small anhydrous tank we got back there. If that works for you, Buck. Okay, fine, just pull the pin. Okay, what are we going to be taking again? You think this is smart, Buck? Eh. Just going giant farming. Screw it. We only got a couple of years left in our lives. Might as, well, might as well enjoy it. Leave the problem to the kids. Yeah. If I care. So are we taking this or are we taking the ART? So I'm thinking we'll put the two quadracks on the big one. We'll put the 8RT on the third one. The small okay. one. We might as well just get yeah. this one connected up and grab the other tanks. Smaller. Of the yeah, two. I'll get the planter hooked up. Okay, so the reason we need three bars is because we have field 17, which is good. We may put that into beans. I'm not sure. I'm not fully sure. It has the nitrogen on it, so we could go to corn. We probably should go to corn on, on 17. Gigantic field. We also picked up field 21. We do not own this. We rent this field, field 21, but it needs to go to corn. It doesn't have any nitrogen on. And hydrus is going to put, and hydrate, with anhydrous, we're going to put probably 180 pounds on, something like that. That should be perfect for the corn crop. So we're going to knock out this field here. And we are it's a giant field. We're probably going to need all three bars going on it. So hopefully we can knock this out today. And if you look at soil types on this field, it's really a lot of heavy soil, silty clay soil. So it's going to hold moisture. It's going to hold all these nutrients and nitrogen really well. I'm going to jump in the 580 though. We should have enough horsepower to pull these things. This is going to be interesting. She's a little sloppy outside, a little too, a little too moist probably to go. But we're gonna push her, just a little bit since we got, moist. since we got tracks. Back her up, get her hooked up. Hitch, two hydraulic outlets hooked up. Our smokes all hooked up. Tanks all ready to go. Tanks are full actually. And then Buck, I think, is around back doing something. Oh, there he is. He's pulling around back. Okay, 8RT is ready to go. Now, this is only an 8RT 310. So, she's actually a little light on horsepower for this bar, possibly. We got to get some smoke in that thing. It's There's nothing reading on the tank. Ooh, okay. Uh, should we get the quad started? Maybe see if Luke could come into work and get going on one of the quads? And then you could run smoke? I think I got a spot that I can go down to the co-op quick and just get it okay. topped off. That'd work good, actually, too. I'll get the other, uh, I'll get the other quad hooked up. Okay. If anything, you could probably, oh no, I say get that one, because where are we heading again? No, we're going right, uh... Right across the road? Yeah. Uh... You bought that field? Uh, we rented from, from Johnson's. Oh, you know...
You know, when you get older, you're supposed to do less work. Yeah, Not I know. five times more. I'll be back. We're gonna need a burn down pass too, it looks like. Wow, holy Toledo. Whoever left it, whoever ran this last. Ah. Okay, we got everything hooked up. We are ready to roll. We're gonna knock out some acres. This is gonna be fun. We've never played at this big a scale. Are we even gonna be able to fit that rig? Th okay, we should be good. There we go. And so all we're doing is we're just heading down to the road. Luckily for us, all these farms are super close to the main farm. So I gotta figure out a good grain hauling situation. Um, we'll probably have to run semis, but yeah, we could even get a mother bin or something like that and just have all of our, well, we'll see, we'll figure it out. So here's the field we gotta knock out. Like I said, there, this is a weed mess through here. Looks like Buck sent me a text. We'll see how this works here. Drop her down, make sure we're hitting our yield goal here. There we go. But, hold on here. Buck's, Buck's making a repair quick on one of uh, one of his knives. He busted a shear bolt on one of his knives, so he'll be back and going. And we should be able to knock this out. It doesn't seem like it's putting as much in hydrous down as we'd like. It's weird, because all the other fields were putting down a lot more, a lot more in hydrous than this. We're trying to figure that out still. World's most expensive game of chicken. Here we go, Buck. Oh, who's gonna lose? I don't know, it's not my equipment. Uh, true, true. Plus you don't like red. Okay, we're moving. <laughs> Move it or lose it. Okay, I'm following Buck. We are knocking this out, and then we're gonna plant into this come spring, right after. Um, so we're putting on a lot of nitrogen. We're not gonna field cultivate or anything because this this bar is leveling out real nice. So it should work should work pretty good. How's she rolling, Buck? Fairly smoothly right now. At least with our spots there on the far left, we'll at least be able to call that a test plot. Yeah. There's a couple spots where we didn't put any nitrogen down. We're gonna leave them. We're gonna see what the corn does. It'll be interesting. You might as well talk let's see, you might as well talk to the co-op that might actually have a different uh different seed type we might be able to put over there and might be able to overcome that and get, at least get some of our bang for the buck out of it. <laughs> bang for the buck. Right. Yeah, it'll be interesting. And there, and there might be a new hybrid. You don't know. Hey, never know. Probably going to cost us a fortune, but what do we care? No wonder it took us 30 years to figure out how to run half this stuff. There's so many computer screens. Yeah. I well, actually really want to do like a first person series. One like of these days, only... one of us is going to go, probably. Well, eventually at some point. Yeah. Still never heard back from Austin when he went to Cancun, so... That guy, he he's been to... down Cancun, and he's just been... We've been slaving away at Murphy Bros. Oh, yeah. Battery ran off with that chick from St. Louis again. You think he's still dating her? How the heck should I know? I never kept up with him. He didn't bother to send us a Christmas card last year. He said she has a thousand acres of land. You do not need another piece of land. You keep complaining we need to buy more planters. Well, your credit score, I still don't know how you're holding that 680. I think Square was supposed to get on here, but I don't know whatever happened to him. Oh shoot, I won't be able to turn around. You're gonna have to finish that off. Hey, Buck. What? What's Obama's last name again? You know, I've never figured it out. Uh, I'll, I'll Google but, uh, it when I get home. Okay. Make sure everything's turned good. Get squared up. Me and Buck are old school. We don't use any GPS. There's my dog. Attitude. There's Rex. <laughs> There's Rex. I've been looking for Rex. I just found him! What the heck? You know what makes no sense? What? And we are done. We actually knocked that out pretty quick. Would have knocked it out really fast if we would have had a, another helper, but uh, we're good. We'll fold her up. We're done with an hydrous buck. That's it? Really? Yeah. Wait, I thought we still had like half that one field of corn. No, that's, no, that's going to beans, you're though. Putting, yeah, yeah that's right. so we Never don't mind. need hydrous on it. Yep. So we're good to go. We'll fold on up, head back to the farm. Well, we got the machines parked, and hydrous is done. We just got to clean them up a bit. Got to put the 8RT back on. And actually, we, me and Buck were talking. I was like, gosh, I could use another big tractor so we can run three anhydrous bars and three fuel cultivators and stuff like that. Because it seemed like we, we couldn't keep up. So... Buck actually had a trade in. I, I I don't know who it was from, but a 9520. And I miss our 9520 we had on the farm. 
So we're going to go check this thing out. It's a little different, though. That's the thing about it. Um, what truck are we taking? I'll take Buck's pickup. He's not going to like this too much. Now, I know people are going to be like, gosh, you don't need another tractor. Guys, we're farming a lot of acres. On top of that, you need an old tractor that sounds sweet. Not that a 9520 is old, but it just has the raw diesel sound. When we were on those quad tracks, me and Buck, we were like two babies getting rocked back to sleep. Those things are just so quiet. We need something a little funner, you know? We got to first stop into the co-op and pay our bill, though. We bought a lot of gas. And hydrous, 82%. Um, let's see if Linda's in here. Ah, it looks like they're closed. Oh, is this a farm wall? Is this a old age? I wonder if Buck's got this for sale. That'd be nice to add the, to the collection. Ah. You guys just get the 9520 in? Yeah, we're having... We're having Spencer do a little bit of an overview on it to make sure there's nothing going wrong with it. Yeah. I traded it in for a newer 9R, so... Huh, how many hours is it on it? 2,600. Oh, okay. Dude, these are hard to find. I mean, yeah. used equipment? What, you guys even got a price on it yet? Probably not. No, just came off the trailer. Wow. Okay, if we buck... It, um, don't... You haven't called anybody else about it, right? You called service to get parts for it. Okay. Does that count? Okay. Uh, what are you guys going to price it at, do you think? Uh, Give or take. Probably somewhere around 135 That's not bad. We're Gosh. considering putting some new shoes on that very inside set of duels yeah. on, the tri on the triples as inside tires have seen better days. Yeah. Buck, I'll take Other it. That, I'll take it. We'll save it for you, but we're not going to do anything with it right now just yeah. because of the fact we got to get it looked over. But yeah, I'll, we can definitely. I'll run it. I can it. run it through my shop too. Okay. Yeah, but that's well, good. No, no, we got it. We have a full inspection list. We got to go through at least to do that. Okay. If it clears that, then we can get it to you and you can do the rest. But at least for safety measures, we have to go through that entire list. Yeah. Perfect. Good third right. tractor. That'll be good. And uh, I got something that you might want to get. Okay. It'd be good for spring season. What we is it? We can handle this when you pick this up. Okay. Bat wing. I'll take a bat wing too. Well, it's got to be a good price. We can get you a little bit of a bundle deal on it. Okay. Don't Buck. Don't even show it to me. I'm gonna buy it probably when I see it. I gotta. I gotta walk away. I gotta know my limits. Fine. Have your way. I, I, well, how are you gonna get home? You don't have a truck. Sure. Ah, got you, didn't I? I'll take the avalanche. No, you won't. You're the one that's going to have to write that down in the book. <laughs> oh, man. All the soccer moms used to love these things. <laughs> Watch out for the rust in the quarter panel. Oh, my gosh. This sounds good. The avalanche. This sounds dang good. Maybe this guy's up borrowing Buck's truck to go home. Then I'll have to return it sometime, too. We'll probably be left stranded. But anyways, thanks for watching this one. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.